Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. So finally today let's take a look at the Bitcoin market. So here's uh, performance stands in general with the plan that we have suggested on Monday. On the monthly chart we do not have yet big issues. The one thing that probably should please the bulls is that by far, so since this is still a good a lot of time until the end of the May, but for now and by far you can see market is forming high wave pattern near the previous top which is might be some type of the indecision performance or it is not as bearish as it could be for example especially after this big engulfing pattern so speaking about the long-term performance tactical performance strategical performance stands stands around this big pattern but tactical performance uh, is uh, actually based on this engulfing pattern and as you know already talked about this in details that we suggested it might be some kind of a downside a b c d pattern with a bit deeper retracement back to the fifth area at least so that's really what could happen based on this pattern uh, but probably this will happen later so not the setup is not ready so market still have to show some preliminary uh, pre preparational steps before the downside action could start on a weekly chart, we do not see something really new. Uh, for a weekly chart, 52 area, 51, 52 area seems interesting. Just because, uh, well, it's a strong support area. And another interest here is, uh, well, if it will be double repo sell pattern, market should not touch it. Prior, the top of the double repo will be formed. So we need to keep watching if it will be straight downward action back to the 52 this might be not bad area to consider taking the long position at least for some moderate uh, upside bounce if it will be double repo sell that will be clear bearish signal and market just could keep going lower but currently i do not see something really interesting on the weekly chart we do not have any grubbers uh, price action very slow stands still in the same range um, nothing special i would say so on the daily chart, uh, we are mostly based our tactical uh, trading ideas on the daily and intraday chart based on this pattern. As we said, in fact, here we have compounded bullish engulfing pattern. And this pattern suggests some kind of the A, B, C bottom, D action, upside performance. That's why we said in our last report, first wait for a drop to the 62 area where the bottom of the right arm might be formed, some deep retracement might be formed, and then watch for 60 to 67. If our suggestion will be correct, the market indeed will show this ABC pattern. For now, you could see that the first stage of our trading plan is mostly done. But here some nuances exist. So here's, by the way, the pattern that theoretically might be formed the kind of the hand chores with this upward performance back to the 67 area, some kind of the really slightly higher based on this ABC pattern depending on where the bottom of the right arm will be formed. But if you'll take a look at the hourly chart, here's an interesting moment. Take a look at that market. Here's minor hand shorts has been formed. Uh, a few sessions ago, downside action has started with it, right? And we have ABCD in place. So that's the area that we have specified as a possible area where a market could start dropping. So uh, now market has reached the predefined level that we said, 61, 61, 50 conference support. And take a look, this is the OP, also in agreement level. This is a preferable level for a bullish scenario. So uh, to keep it perfect, it is preferable to see that market will turn up right from here and start forming this big A, B, C, bottom D pattern, right? Alternatively, market could drop lower to the 618 support, which is also will be agreement, this will be almost 60 even xop and 59 60 618 support level this will not be yet uh, the crush of this pattern 
but it will be much worse scenario and a much weaker um, a b c d pattern to the upside because retracement will be too deep and on the way down to the xop market almost will have to erase this frosting action which is also will be not good that's why let's keep an eye on this possible scenario um, as a kind of the vital performance so uh, if this will happen market will be somewhere near the critical point of the failure of the setup uh, it is not really good what uh, we could do in current circumstances if you would like to buy with this abc pattern you will have to keep an eye on this area drop your time frame watch for minor bullish patterns that might be formed around if we will get any uh, for instance what it could be it could be minor hand shoulders double bottoms butterflies or something so if we'll get something here you could try to use this with the stop below somewhere below this area if nothing will be formed the market will just keep watching some choppy action performance around it showing no signs of the pullback in this case it will be better to not take the long position yet for example i give you the hint uh, what patch it might be formed you could get minor hand shorts here so it might be right there right so for example it might be the shoulder head it might be another shorter here if it will be formed you could try to use it it's just an example uh for, for, for this performance that in two words uh what we have I, I hope that this sounds not too complicated because we have actually uh similar patterns in both directions so on the monthly chart we have bearish engulfing on the daily chart we have bullish engulfing uh, but they uh perfectly add on each other so keep it simple when the bullish pattern will be completed that may be the proper point for taking bearish position with a bigger pattern that's the overall idea and currently we are moving with the bullish pattern on the daily chart we're still moving to the upside trying to use it and uh, reach some targets to the upside supposedly around 67 or maybe slightly higher once they will be done we again will return back to the idea of the bearish pattern on the monthly chart and see what's going on there so that and towards what we have uh, let's keep uh, watching what will happen hopefully this stop will keep going well